This is the UK's first mainline application with multiple operators on what is effectively one of the key pieces of infrastructure in the UK. You certainly wouldn't want to just do it, so you need a pathfinder first to test all the processes, all the procedures for installation, make sure that's right and then expand that onto a bigger mainline. Part of the reason for having the Pathfinder is so we can learn the lessons in a contained environment to enable us to expand, share with the industry and be more efficient and effective going forwards. Digital signalling is the latest standard internationally in how we control trains. Renewing your autical signals, your relay based interlockings and introducing in-cab signalling. Taking the analogue equipment today that's trackside and putting it into the cab. Which runs on a flow of data between trackside equipment and the train, which allows the driver to continually monitor speed and see what's coming ahead. But it's not yet come to the mainline railway where we're introducing all of the different forms of operator to this way of working. The task ahead of us to migrate tens of organisations to this way of working for the East Coast Main Line itself is a big, big ask. Pathfinder was about taking those principles of partnership, making sure they work, making sure we can get partners who don't have necessary commercial relationships working together to deliver a system as efficiently as possible. The Northern City Line was chosen as the Pathfinder project because it was in quite a unique position in the UK industry. It had an aging trackside that was failing, GTR, the operator had brought in a new fleet of trains that had come with digital signaling already fitted. We had a we sort of condensed amount of train drivers that only went down on that route. So really it was the perfect place to do this Pathfinder project. In our rail industry, traditionally what would happen is the proposer of the change would be the one that develops it. And they would develop it to quite a detailed stage before they then check in with one another. Network Rail would write a specification, we'd hand it over, and then everyone else would have to adapt to what we'd instructed. So the way that this path one has been set up is that really the supplier, Network Rail on the infrastructure, and us, go via Thames Link Railway as the operator, have got an equal share in how we want this to work and how we want to design it and how we want to operate it. So we were there very much at day dot, rather than being there pretty much after the product's been developed. Collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. What we really wanted out of all of our partners on this project was for them to work as closely as possible with one another. Constant communication, constantly being kept abreast of how are things going, how do we resolve the issues, and make sure that you've just got that really dynamic team model whereby it's almost, you don't have a division between any of the partners. They are all working together for one goal. There were some big successes on the project. We delivered from conception to delivery within two years, not really heard of for signalling renewals on the um, railway infrastructure. We also proved that the operating model worked. The partnership arrangement has been absolutely excellent. Operationally, all the partners have got what they wanted through having these really dynamic conversations. And three, we have achieved that learning legacy the Pathfinder was due to do. A key learning point for us from the Pathfinder has been how to actually upgrade digital signaling that is already on the train from new and the expense and time and complications that that's put into a program whilst you're trying to deliver it. That is something I think the industry was quite naive to and has proven to be a bit more complicated than we originally thought. Northern City Line has been a key pathfinder and testbed for learning for us to take forwards into the digital signaling master plan, especially when it comes to elements like building the capability within the network, within the industry to take that forwards. One of the things we want to focus on is how do we reduce site access? How do we reduce system improving so we can get the benefits quicker? And NCL was a good learning platform for us to understand what we definitely need to do on site with a train and where we can move more things off site and, and just reduce the amount of time we're spending on site. Safety assurance process was probably one of the biggest learnings that we got out of the Northern City Line project for the rest of the deployment on East Coast Digital Program. It was not efficient, it was not clear who was responsible for what in the industry, and that has now been addressed with a whole new um, industry process and procedure being set up off the back of this. The Pathfinder project on Northern City Line has really exposed the end-to-end -end approvals process associated with introducing this change for the very first time. It's not been fleshed out before now. And so we now finally understand everything that needs to come together. 
One of my favourite memories on this project was the day we went live. I was sat in York Rock watching trains move on the signalling panel and the best thing about it, no one knew we'd even done it. The trains were on time, they were running smoothly, everyone was happy. Without the learning that we've done on this, on this little, little line in London, the rest of it would, would really not be as successful as it's going to be. It, the Northern City Line Pathfinder has fundamentally changed industry process to enable the delivery of the digital signaling master plan.